I'm glad to share another question from my subscriber. Thanks a lot for participating actively and posting questions on my channel. I really like it. Till now, I've been answering them in 48 hours. Keep posting. Right. The question here is, tan A equals to M times tan B and sin A equals to N times sin B then cos square A is equal to what? So we have four choices. You need to select the right one. You can all pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let us try to understand what is cos in terms of sine and tan. Right. So, so basically, you will know that cos of A could be written as sine A over tan A. Now this is important to understand because tan A is sine over cos so it goes in the numerator. Perfect. It's kind of like this. It is like sine A over sine A over cos A, correct? So, so sine and sine cancels and you get cos A. So we understand that cos A is ratio of sine and tan. So that should help us to get closer to the result. So I'll use this space to uh, get to the solution. We are given that tan A is M times tan B, sin A is N times sin B. We need to find what cos A is. So let me find the ratio of sin and tan. So we can write this as what is sin A over tan A equals to sin A is n times sin B and tan A is m times tan B, correct? So that gives you that cos A is equal to n over m cos B. Or we could write this as cos A over n is equal to cos B over m. Now since they are equal, we can say let them be equal to some constant k. Correct? So in that case, I could write cos a as n times k and I could write cos b as m times k. Perfect? So now I do have relation of cosine and cosine a and b in terms of n and m. Right, that's the first step. Now we need to figure out what is cos A. Uh, what we can do is we can look into uh, cos A, let's write like this. Sin A goes to N sin B, right? So we know that sin A is equals to N times sin B. Now sin A can be written as square root of 1 minus cos square A. Does it make sense to you? N times square root of 1 minus cos square B. Correct? Since you know that sum of squares of sine and cosine, we know sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So we could write sine as so this implies that sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos square theta and that implies that sine theta equals to square root of 1 minus cos square theta. Perfect. So I replaced sine A with 1 minus cos square A square root. Same thing I did for sine B. Now cos A is nk so I could write this or let me square both sides. So if I square both sides, I get 1 minus cos square A equals to n times 1 minus cos square B. Cos square A, let me replace with nk. So I have 1 minus n square k square equals to n times 1 minus cos B as m k. Correct. Now we got n and k is involved. So let's rearrange them. 
let's rearrange them. So we have 1 minus n square k square equals to, when you square this also becomes square, right? This also becomes square. So we have n square minus n square m square k square, perfect. Let's bring similar terms together. So we have n square m square k square equals to n square minus 1. Now what is cos square a? Let's write down. Cos square a is n square k square. So, so you can clearly see that uh, n square k square, I forgot to write this minus, let me, okay, so I kind of did a mistake here. Let me read it. So I'll bring this term to the left, which is n square m square k square. We have minus n square k square and n square minus 1. So what we did was that we brought this term to the left side and brought 1 to the right side. Is that okay? So we're left with this term n square m square k square minus this and n square minus. Perfect. We can factor out n square k square. So we have n square k square left with m square minus 1, which is n square minus 1. And from here, n square k square is equal to ratio of n square minus 1 over m square minus 1. Now, what is n square k square? Well, n square k square is cos square a. Perfect. So this is equals to cos square a. So we get our answer, which is a, right? So a is the right answer. I hope that helps you to understand. This is actually a question from SAT and also similar questions are being seen in IITJ. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share, share your views. And if you like and subscribe, that'll be good for me. Thanks and all the best.